Welcome to the Sun Prairie United Methodist Church podcast channel. I'm Bill Ancio, again sharing a scripture reading and devotional message from Disciplines for June 10th through the 14th, 2024. Disciplines is an Upper Room Publications devotional based on Bible readings from the lectionary. I invite you to listen to these words from the Gospel of Mark. This is chapter 4, verses 26 to 34, from the Common English Bible Translation. Then Jesus said, This is what God's kingdom is like. It's as though someone scatters seed on the ground, then sleeps and wakes night and day. The seed sprouts and grows, but the farmer doesn't know how. The earth produces crops all by itself, first the stalk, then the head, then the full head of grain. Whenever the crop is ready, the farmer goes out to cut the grain because it's harvest time. He continued, What's a good image for God's kingdom? What parable can I use to explain it? Consider a mustard seed. When scattered on the ground, it's the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But when it's planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all vegetable plants. It produces such large branches that the birds in the sky are able to nest in its shade. With many such parables, he continued to give them the word, as much as they were able to hear. He spoke to them only in parables then explained everything to his disciples when he was alone with them. Our devotion this week was written by Kate King, spiritual director, mother, and writer who loves dancing, laughing, Christian mysticism, contemplation, and feeling alive. On the one hand, this parable feels like an invitation into purposeful work with the Lord. The man in the parable takes on the work of scattering seeds without knowing what will take place. Any gardener knows the hope and trust required in planting seeds. We may not know exactly how the flower comes from the small seed, but we do know that the flower will never grow if we don't plant the seed in the first place. On the other hand, Jesus is encouraging us to take the pressure off ourselves. While we do have responsibility to scatter the seeds, we are not responsible for what happens once those seeds are scattered. That is God's work. We can make life-giving contributions to God's kingdom while also remembering the growth and success of it are not in our hands. This parable reminds us of the importance of divine power over human hustle. When attempting to do my best to balance ministry and home life, I occasionally get overwhelmed by all I have to do. Surely you too have felt this, overwhelmed by the road ahead and wondering how everything can possibly work out when there is just so much to be done. Thinking about the kingdom of God as a scattering of seeds feels like a practice in non-attachment and deep surrender. Jesus is inviting us to join in purposeful work for God's kingdom and then to release that work into the ever-moving love of God. Jesus is calling us to show up, share our faith in alignment with our gifts and energy levels, and then release the outcome to bloom in God's time. God, we faithfully release our love into the world and then, in surrender, trust that your kingdom is in motion. Help us remember that sometimes we can do more with less when we trust in your power. Amen. For your reflection on today's reading from Mark chapter 4, consider these questions. In what small action is God beckoning you to have big faith? How is God inviting you into kingdom work through small steps of faith? Before we bring today's podcast to a close, I wanted to remind you to check out a new podcast we're releasing next week to complement our summer worship series. 
It's about the intersection of faith and America's pastime, baseball and softball, and will feature some engaging conversations with members of our church community, sharing how their experiences in and around the game have enriched their faith. Here's a clip from my Episode 2 conversation with siblings Tian and Dane Brooks. I've heard athletes say that you don't learn anything when you win. No, you, you really don't. You learn when you lose or when you strike out. Mm-hmm. There's a lesson there if you if you can kind yeah. of shrug it off and think about what the, the lesson is. Yeah, like shrugging it off. So like our team has what's called the three-second rule, which I also bring just into my life in general. So after I strike out or make a bad play, you take three seconds and you reconsider what you did. Maybe if you're mad, it's fine. Take three seconds, be mad. But then after three seconds, just shrug it off. Like, you can do that in life. I do that sometimes when something doesn't go my way. Just take three seconds, take a breather. It'll be okay. But then just, like, get right back at it. Yeah, next play. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Keep your focus on the present moment. Yes. Um, All right. What about important lessons uh, that you you feel you've learned from the game uh, for life or your faith? Yeah, so kind of like what she was saying with – like going on from the next play after you make a mistake. Like that was a lot of stuff that our coaches drilled in, like always saying, get the next one, like forget about it. Like you want to not during the, you don't want to remember those plays during the game because it just puts you in a bad state of mind, especially if, especially if you're like pitching or something, especially with me, cause I'm a pitcher. So say you go up to bat, like, and you'd have a horrible at bat, but then right after you like strike out, you have to go up there and pitch and you can't have that bad mindset going on because you're not going to pitch as good. So you kind of need to forget about what happened and just focus on the good and try to do your best that you can in that situation. And that's why the other team is always trying to get in your head, right, when you're pitching. Okay, I'm probably going to date myself, but I remember as a kid the chant, one of the chants being, we want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. Yes, People that is definitely that. still yeah. one of them. Uh-huh. You can catch the Take Me Out to the Ball Game podcast starting next week on this podcast channel. In the meantime, the community of Sun Prairie United Methodist Church invites you to worship this Sunday at 9 a.m., in person or online. Our church is located at 702 North Street in Sun Prairie, just south of Northside Elementary School. Or if you prefer, our online worship is available on the worship page of our website, sunprairieumc.org. May God bless you as you do the good you can today.